We're here at on Scott Street and uh, what happened, it's our Athlone building and what happened on the weekend is 7.30 on Saturday morning we got a call from the fire department and one of our sprinkler pipes had burst. It had frozen overnight and uh, it went through four floors of our building and we now have 42 residents who are displaced. Many of our, our, our residents have mental health and substance use health issues. Um, and they've been challenged with that throughout their life and they come to Ottawa Salas for the supports to help them with that and to have a community that supports them. And you know for them to see that their their home is at risk, one of the first questions they'll ask is you know does this mean I'm going to be going to the shelters? And we have to reassure them. So it's very destabilizing for them to not have their home. The damage itself is extensive. It's throughout all four floors of the building. Uh, we have at least 23 of our 42 units, uh, of our uh, tenant units, uh, have serious damage to them. And many of our tenants don't have uh, tenant insurance. So uh, they're at a loss for replacing those. It's really important to know that um, our clients don't have the means uh, to help get back on their feet and to re redo their homes in the way they want. Salas has property insurance and so we can fix the building. But their home and their, our tenants and having that tenant insurance, they don't have that. And so we need their financial support. If they can help us to help you know, move our, our tenants into temporary housing, to make sure they have the right supports, to make sure that we're able to get the right supplies for them so that this very difficult time can have minimal impact on them and their mental health and their substance use.